Disneyland is known as the happiest place on earth, but tragedy hit the iconic theme park in 1974 when a young woman died on one of its attractions. Deborah Gellstone's death not only shocked her family and friends, but it also triggered a court struggle and sparked a broader discussion about theme park safety standards. Her memory remains on today, nearly five decades later, as a reminder of the importance of prioritizing safety and accountability, even in the most magical of locations. In the summer of 1974, Disneyland was the place where everyone wanted to be. Families from all over the world flocked to the amusement park in Anaheim, California to experience the magic and wonder of Disney. People used to say that Disneyland was the happiest place on earth because of its fun rides, colorful characters, and magical atmosphere. But on a terrible day in July, tragedy broke up that magic. A young woman named Deborah Gale Stone went to the park with her family to make some happy memories. She was only 18 and full of life and energy, but then something awful happened. In an instant, she lost everything. People in the park were shocked and saddened by the news of Deborah's death, which spread quickly. How could something like this happen, of all places, at Disneyland? This was supposed to be the happiest place on earth, where all dreams come true and nothing bad ever happens. But as the investigation into Deborah's death got underway, it became clear that tragedy can strike even the happiest places on earth. The accident caused a lot of trouble and made people ask important questions about how safe amusement parks are. It was an event that would forever change Disneyland and the theme park business as a whole. The Incident The sad death of Deborah Gale Stone sent shockwaves through Disneyland and all over the world. How could something so terrible happen in the best place on earth? Deborah Gale Stone died just over a week after America Sings attraction reopened in the Carousel of Progress Theater at Disneyland in 1974. In 1973, the Carousel of Progress was decommissioned and its animatronic components were transferred to Florida's Walt Disney World Resort. The Disneyland attraction was eventually renamed America Sings and launched on June 29th of 1974. The attraction, like its predecessor, had an outer ring of six seating spaces that rotated around a stationary hub housing various stages. On July 8th of 1974, Deborah Gale Stone was crushed to death between 10.35 and 10.40 p.m. As the spinning wall began to move, a narrow path between a fixed wall and a rotating wall opened and Stone either fell, walked backwards, or attempted to jump from one stage to the next. It moved every two to four minutes, which was how long each act was. Her death was announced around 11 p.m., just as the carousel was about to begin a new rotation. One of the audience members overheard stone shouts and alerted park personnel. Some mistook it for a scene from the show. Stone had died from her injuries. By the time the audience member and the personnel arrived, Stone's parents sued Disneyland for their daughter's death and a minor payment was reached. Following Stone's death, the attraction was abruptly shut down, remaining closed until Disney erected safety lights and cleaned the event site. Subsequently, the walls of the theater were renovated so that they would break apart in the event of another comparable tragedy. Three days after the tragedy, the attraction reopened on July 11th. After the accident, Disneyland had to think about how safe its rides and other attractions were. Safety rules were changed to make sure that nothing like this would ever happen again. But the damage had already been done to Deborah's family and friends. They would never forget the day that bad things happened at the happiest place on earth. The Aftermath The death of this young woman at Disneyland had a big effect on a lot of people. It was a tragedy that shook the theme park business to its core and left a mark on both the park and the people who went there. America Sings was closed for two days following Stone's death at Disneyland, while a safety light that notified the attraction's operator anytime someone approached too close to the danger area was added. To avoid similar incidents in the future, the solid walls were eventually replaced with breakaway ones. The accident led to a larger discussion about safety standards in the theme park industry as a whole. Over time, 
Deborah Gailstone's death became a lesson about how tragedy can happen anywhere, even in the happiest places on Earth. Disneyland kept getting better and changing, always trying to make sure that its guests were safe and had a good time. But people would never forget what happened on that terrible day in July of 1974. Deborah's tragic death would always be linked to the magic and wonder of Disneyland in the minds of her family and friends, as well as the people who were at the park that day. Legacy The legacy that was created by Deborah Gilstone's passing away in Disneyland is enduring. Her tragic death shook the foundation of the amusement park industry and sparked a wider conversation about safety standards and accountability, which is still ongoing to this day. Her passing also made a lasting mark on the lives of those who were close to her, including her family and friends. In spite of their grief and anguish, they were resolved to carry on Deborah's work after she had passed away. In order to accomplish this goal, Deborah's family established the Deborah Gailstone Memorial Fund, which is a scholarship program designed to celebrate Deborah's life and work while encouraging young women to pursue careers in engineering and technology. Deborah's intelligence, resourcefulness, and drive are immortalized in the foundation she established, which has been of assistance to dozens of students over the course of its existence. As a direct result of her passing, there has been a refocused attention on safety standards and oversight, which has led to the creation of extra regulations and requirements that are designed to keep visitors safe while they are enjoying rides and attractions. Nonetheless, the lesson is that calamity can strike at any time and any location, and this one is likely to be the one that has the longest impact. As a result of Deborah's passing, her story serves as a lesson to be learned, a reminder that even the happiest places on Earth are not immune to the harsh realities of life. Her story is a cautionary tale. It also serves as a useful reminder that safety and accountability should always be at the top of one's list of priorities not only in the amusement park industry, but in every part of one's life. Today's guests visiting Disneyland may not be aware of the horrible death that occurred to Deborah Gale Stone. For those that do, her legacy is a powerful reminder of the need of savoring each and every moment, as well as the necessity of remaining vigilant regarding the threats that are always there in our environment. Deborah Gilstone's death at Disneyland was a tragic occurrence that forever altered the direction of theme park safety. At the end of the day, we all want to have fun and make happy memories with our loved ones. We can ensure that these experiences are enjoyable for everyone by prioritizing safety and being aware of potential risks. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe for more content. And don't forget to stay safe on your next adventure.